course, I need to be a little hoochie. I feel like this girl has an attitude with me. Please, y'all, I got all day. Y'all ever just like randomly start feeling like you're about to die? Because that's me right now. Life just really slap you in the face sometimes. I cannot just be sitting here in this mental funk. I can't be doing that. We ain't having it. If you're gonna complain, get your complaints out, but then try to do something about it. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, my name is Persia Arya. Thank you so much for dropping in. Drop it in it, ayy. Drop it in it, ayy. Good morning, beautiful people. It is 8.30 in the morning and I am up and at Well, I'm not up and at I'm still in my bed as you can see. I haven't moved. Y'all see that pillow? Hey, pillow. The reason I'm so like chipper, y'all like, oh, you don't really sound like you just woke up because my voice is usually so raspy. I guess it's a little bit raspy still. I still sound a little bit like a man or a jazz singer, but I have actually been up since like 7.15. You know how like when you wake up, but you don't want to get up. So you just like sit in the bed. Oh, I'll get up in five minutes. Next thing you know, five minutes turn into like an hour. And you're like, dang, I just really wasted all that time sitting in bed yeah that's me this morning i'm about to get up and conquer this day i'm just gonna be doing like a whole bunch of stuff to like recover i should stop saying recover as if i was like hit by a freaking truck or something i don't know if that's a good way to put it because i was not injured or anything like that i was just mentally going through it and you know we all mentally go through stuff so that's okay it's nothing to be ashamed of but i need to like still brush my teeth i still need to change and do like all that good stuff because i am quite stank right now i did not wash my face y'all see my face i I feel like I look like a zombie. A cute zombie. Mm. It kind of sucks because this morning I woke up and it's like raining and I'm like, are you serious? I was about to go outside and like journal all this freaking week. It had all this time to rain. But of course the day where I'm like, I'm gonna go outside. Of course that's the freaking day it decides to rain. I'm gonna check the weather really quick just so like, uh, if it's gonna get worse or if it's gonna get like better. Mm. Y'all see that? It's raining all freaking day. Like what? 40% chance of rain, I guess. That's not that bad. I love rain. I feel like the rain low-key comes at the worst times because I love the rain. But whenever I plan on like going outside or doing something, that's when it rains. When I'm inside bundled up, reading a book, watching TV or doing nothing, that's when it want to shine bright. It want to shine bright like a diamond outside, of course. But then the moment, the very moment, I'm like, you know what? I think I'm going to take a stroll today. I think I'm going to do this, that, the third. I look outside. It's thunderclouds and lightning bolts. And I'm like... For real, you d you had all this time. It actually looks really pretty outside though. Let me see if I can show you. You see that? I love when the clouds are like overcast. This isn't really overcast, but like got this whole ambience going on. The rain is just like really relaxing to me. I don't know why. You need to go potty? What's up? Say how y'all doing? Okay, she crying. She has to go to the bathroom. She like, girl, if you don't take that dang camera off me, I gotta pee. I kind of have to pee too. Ain't gonna lie. Sparkle, I'm on the same page as you. I kind of have to pee. I feel like I look so crusty. Look at my edges. I've had this hair for so long and I need to change it. ASAP, but... <sighs> Bro, I cannot believe this crap. I really thought, I really thought I was about to be outside doing my journaling, being all aesthetic and all that. Nope. Nope. Not today. I could bet you a lace front weave and a box of Apple Jacks that it is freezing cold outside. What's even the point of having a bonnet if it's never gonna stay on? Riddle me that. I don't get that. Make that make sense. Whoever invented the bonnet needs to invent a more elastic formula to where it like presses down on you and it's physically and scientifically impossible to come off of your head in the middle of the night. Because every time I wake up, I'm not wearing it anymore. You see this? down dang you always do the girl move down down you know what you want to act stupid fine by me Shout it, who deserves what you've been missing? Looking at you, I'm thinking he must be tripping. 
Last time y'all saw me, I think I was at home. Of course I was at home. Where else would I have been? Can you stop? Excuse you. Tekka, hold on. I'm in the Target parking lot because I just needed to get a couple things and I wanted to hurry up. <laughs> It is freezing. I was freezing my behind off. But I'm just gonna go in there really quick. I need to get a bottle of wood spray because I've been cleaning the house up a lot. Being in a clean space just really makes you feel good. I kind of want like a prayer type journal. I used to just put like prayers and stuff inside my my normal journal. But I don't want to use my normal journal anymore because I want to like kind of put like things that like I feel were shush. You are giving me zero respect right now. I want to just start putting like small things like that into like one journal. And Target always has like the cutest little journals and they be on the low too. They be really cheap and y'all know that we broke up in here we broke and let's not spend a whole bunch of time in here because that is a no no you ready let's do it i got so many options look at this there's so many freaking cute ones like look at these this one is so cute but i already got this one this is like my normal journal can you get off the disrespect get off for the low too y'all see that this one what's this say i could barely see that can y'all see that i think it says find your true direction i would get this one right here but it's not really church notes it's just a journal what I really like is this one. This one right here is so freaking cute. Faith can move mountains. Matthew, what's that say? Matthew 17, 20. My basket wet. This is so cute because it actually has like scriptures on the inside. You see that? Period. Bougie Christian Gautings. I know I wasn't supposed to get anything else, but I kind of want to get 300 writing prompts just because this journal is getting all up in your business. How do you act when you're afraid? Um, I cry. I just cry. Write about a messy area in your home, workplace, or life. Y'all don't even want to get into that. This is exactly what I didn't want to do. I didn't want to keep on looking at stuff that I don't need. I went to Target, but I put it in a Walmart bag. Don't mind that. It may be ghetto, but it works. It's fine. When I had this Walmart bag, all the Target employees looked like they wanted to fight me. I was like... I think Target and Walmart got beef because, yeah, they was not having it. When they saw me take out this Walmart bag, she just got more food in her bowl, like just now. Girl acting like she never seen food in her life and she always makes a mess. That's so annoying. Can you please clean up after yourself? Anyways, I had a whole bunch of Target bags. I don't know what happened to them all. I just saw this Walmart bag on top of my purse and I was like, okay, bet, I'm gonna just use this one. But I only came out with the two things. Go me. I was so close to buying that freaking 300 prompts thing or whatever, just because why not? Oh my gosh, my edges look so busted. Ooh, sheesh, I need to get my hair done. I always feel like I always need to get my hair redone. Why can't I just stay on top of it? Because you have zero sense of responsibility. Whatever. I can finally use this. I have been needing to clean more stuff. And I also put this down here. Do you remember this was actually originally for the bathroom, but I moved it down here because I don't have one down here. And it's just gonna be chilling down here. I also got like a whole bunch of it. Hold on, hold on. You just stay there. Actually, it's too heavy. So just come with me. I also got this bath and body works. I got a whole bunch of stuff for the downstairs because whenever I go to bed, bath, no, no, that's not what it is. Whenever I go to bath and Yep, whenever I go to Bath and Body Works, I always only get stuff for my room. And then for downstairs and all that, I just be going to like Target, Walmart. I got a candle burning over there that I got from... Walmart, I don't know. There's a candle over there burning and it's from Walmart. No, it's from Target. I Let me take this off. I think it's just too hot in here. Ooh. Yes. I just be getting stuff from like Target, Walmart, Bed Bath & Beyond. I don't really be getting like stuff for downstairs or anywhere else but my room. When I go to Bed Bath, or nope, when I go to Bath & Body Works. Not the lights. Okay, I'll be right back. The first one we got was the mahogany teak wood because it matches. Period. Grayish, bluish vibe. I just got like a whole bunch of little three wick. But no, I got a whole bunch of little one wick candles because... Two for 22, I would be dumb. I would be dumb not to get. I got this one for my room before and it smelled like really good. I don't know if it should go downstairs. I really don't think it should. And then this one, vanilla and pep. Pep. So y'all know I can't read. So don't even come at me for not being able to say this word. What is this? Vanilla and pat patalucci? Ratatouille? I don't know. Mahogany coconut kind of smells like coconut. Surprise, it smells like coconut. It kind of gives an island vibe. You know what I'm saying? I'm so bad at like smelling stuff and then like describing it. I can smell it, but I can't like put it into words. Some people are so good at it and I'm just like, 
And this one just really smells like laundry. Fresh sheet, fresh sheets of paper. Not paper, fresh sheets of, I don't even know. What do they mean fresh sheets? Like bed sheets, duh, okay, I'm dumb. That one smells really good. It smells like clean laundry. <laughs> then I got this wallflower. It's probably not gonna be able to be seen like anywhere down here. It's gonna be hidden wherever it gets plugged up at. So I didn't make it too cute. I was about to get a cute one and I was like, hmm, why am I spending all this extra money and for what? Nobody's gonna be able to see it. So I'm just gonna put it somewhere like hidden and it will do its thing. It will omit the, uh, omit the, what's it called? The fragrance into the air as it should, but I won't have to make it a cute one because nobody's gonna be able to see it. And then just got like a few of these because duh. This one's called Fresh Getaway and it's super blue. These are so pretty. Pretty. I love these because they look like potions. Okay, hey, hello, hi. We can wait, please, y'all. I got all day. Hello. I just grabbed like a whole bunch that seemed like it would be perfect for like downstairs. I didn't get any champagne toast, any of the ones that I get for my room. I just got like a whole bunch for my room. Not that long ago, I got like birthday cake frosting and champagne toast, of course. I got just like a whole bunch of ones that kind of fit my room because my room is pink and it's cute. I know the color doesn't really matter. It's the scent that matters. Don't get me wrong. But at the same time, it is the color that matters. The color does matter. Don't be fooled, it does matter. I got this one, sun-drenched linen, and this one called laundry day. They love their laundry over there at Bath and Body Works. I already plugged one into the guest bathroom, period. Y'all see that? And it smells so good. It smells like heaven, heaven on earth. It reminds me of like cologne. Like every time I walk in here, I'm like, it smells like cologne. I forgot what the name of like the scent was. I threw it away, dang it. It has something to do with the ocean. I think it was called like ocean breeze, but this does not remind me of the ocean. It reminds me of like cologne. Alone. It reminds me of not Axe. Axe is like the Walmart one. No shade, no shade if you want to use Axe. But that's not what it reminds me of. It reminds me of one of like the expensive colognes. Packing the mail is gone. She like how I smell cologne. That type of cologne, not body spray, but cologne. It really smells like cologne. So I don't understand where they got the idea that it smells like the ocean. I think it is ocean breeze, but it does not smell like no ocean breeze. Like I have never been to the beach smelling this. I just really haven't. I'm gonna have to take that up with Bath and Body Works. They're gonna have to fix that ASAP. ASAP no Rocky. This is so cute. Target's the plug. They really know what they doing sometimes i kind of showed you in target it was just too cute not to it says faith can move mountains and matthew the, i can never read this matthew 17 at 20 and then on each of them okay this is just polka dot do you see this this is so pretty child please tell me this ain't cute for i know the plans i have for you declares the lord plans to prosper you and not harm you plans to give you hope in a future jeremiah 29 11 don't come for me but sometimes i feel like i can't read cursive so give me a second he fills my life with good things so that i stay young and strong like an eagle Psalms, wait, what? Psalms 103. What? Okay, hold on. See, I can't read. Okay, this is starting to get embarrassing. I should just not read. Target really gave what needed to be given. on my freaking parade and I cannot sit outside. I would just sit right here and do a journal entry because mental health queen, okay, period. And I also have coffee because I need coffee. Okay, I don't know why I always put the vanilla creamer no matter what type of coffee it is. I always put vanilla creamer, that specific one, that's my favorite one. If I have to choose between life and that creamer, I'm have to choose that creamer because that creamer is life. Duh, come on now. Pretty and unbothered because that's all we are. We're pretty and we're unbothered. I just have my planner. I don't know why I brought it down with me. It kind of makes me feel like I am more organized in my life than I actually am, but let me just go ahead and pretend to write something down. What month is it? That's how you know I don't have my stuff together. I'm here asking what month it is. March, my mom's birthday is in 20, nope, it's not in 27 days. My mom's birthday is on March 27th. So I'm gonna have to bear that in mind. It's March. Yep, it is March. It is indeed March. Thursday.
I literally don't even know what else to write down. I don't know what else to do or what else I'm going to do. I was gonna go try the boba downtown. I was gonna go to Barnes and Noble because that's also downtown. And I was gonna go take Sparkle for a walk. I was just gonna take her with me when I go to Barnes and Nobles. But sometimes when I'm walking, just like outside, it hits different when you're just looking around and you're walking, especially in places that you only like drive through. It feels so different from like if you drive down a street every day, but then you walk down it instead, it will feel so freaking different. And it's just like, dang, this is the same street. Is this the same street that I always drive? drive down it is i'm telling you it is but it just feels so different because instead of driving by you're walking taking in all the details you start noticing stuff that you didn't see before and it's just crazy and i just really wanted to go downtown because every time i like go downtown i always like look at these like little stores it's just like a whole nother feeling like if you don't know what i'm talking about that means you haven't walked in a cool minute and i'm gonna tell you to stop this video pause walk around walk around somewhere where you always drive by even if it's just around your street or whatever it just feels so freaking different and it hits different it really like helps you appreciate life you're like dang this is really life right now like this is my life that's just how i feel at least it's like when you're walking around and you're just like wow 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 just taking in the scenery taking in everything but anyways let me stop running my mouth i'm just gonna do a journal entry because i don't know what else to write in my planner see i was trying to be all cute and aesthetic and all that and try to be like oh i'm gonna use my planner for like the first time in three months and i ran out of stuff to say when i want to i put down like a to-do list but i should really start doing that every day to like stay more on track i feel like that's part of like why i had such a bad freaking mental breakdown is because I had such a hard time with like staying on track and like following through with things that like I said I wanted to do. I was thinking about going to the laundromat today because y'all, I know I'm drinking coffee, but you're not gonna believe the tea that I have. These apartments, townhouses, whatever they're called, duplexes, I think these are duplexes. That's besides the point. Our laundromat is currently down. I'm wanting to fight somebody because it's been down for days. I haven't been able to wash anything. I've been cleaning the whole house essentially. There's like two covers right here. Don't know if you could see them. On top of the tissue and paper towels that are like just stacked right here. I was about to move them. This top one is a throw cover. This one is just one of my covers. I had it on my bed and it freaking ended up down here. How? Don't ask me why. I tried to like wash them. I go to the laundromat. Tell me why it's like, oh, out of service until further notice there is a whole freaking complex worth of people that need to wash stuff and the washing machines and dryers are down not only that the whole room is just locked all together so even if there was like one working or only like the dryers was working or something nobody could get in because they locked it for some stupid reason i don't know why but cleaning is just like so therapeutic to me and it just feels like i'm being productive and also i'm like cleaning my area so i can be like all cute you know what i'm saying and aesthetic because when it's messy it's not giving hot girl whenever it's just like too messy i feel like it just doesn't give obviously it's not gonna give like the luxury bougie oh my life is happy i'm doing good it's not gonna give any of that if it's like a whole freaking mess if it's just like a disgusting mess it's not gonna give that not at all not in any way shape or form if you feel like your head is just like clouded with too much that's another thing you could do is just clean up your surroundings even if it's your room clean your whole house clean your car clean your backpack clean your purse clean whatever you can and i promise you you will feel a lot better you're gonna feel like you can just think a lot clearer because i saw this not saw this i'm stupid i've read no i didn't read it either what am i talking about i listened to this in a podcast i forgot her name i really need to cite my sources or something i need to start citing my sources but i heard in a podcast like she said um physical clutter is a manifestation of clutter in your brain or something like that and i was like oh if y'all's room is like really dirty or your house is just really dirty, your car, whatever space, like if your work office, your, what's it called? Cube, I was about to say pubicle. That's definitely not what it's called. Uh, why would I say pubicle? If you like work, you have like a cubicle, a cubicle at work and it's just like really like all messy and cluttered and not organized and all that, all that, all that. That is actually a physical manifestation of your mind or is it the other way around? Okay, see, this is why I'm not good at carrying information. Y'all should just go straight to the source, but I don't remember like what the podcast is called. I think her name was, Ooh, Ooh, Patricia Washington, yes, if you know who that is, period. She's like one of the best queens I've ever like listened to. I think she has a YouTube channel, but I learned her from like a podcast. I don't remember where I'd be learning people from. I just know that I know people and now I know them. But she said that one of the first things you could do is clean up your surroundings because if you are in this crowded area and it's all dirty and disgusting, it's gonna start affecting your brain or whatever, you know what I'm saying? See, sometimes I don't even know what I'm saying. So I'm really just like genuinely asking if you know what I'm saying, but it will start like physical, wait see you know what i should just not talk i should really just not talk if your area is cluttered then it's only going to make it worse for your brain i don't know if that makes sense i'm not going to try to like get into a super in-depth talk because i'm not good at in-depth talks as you can see just by me struggling right now but that's just my tip from me to you like it helps me so much to just clean everything like everything must go i have some stuff that i need to take to goodwill still some stuff i'm going to like be taking to the women's shelter i don't know if it's a women's shelter or just like a kid's shelter i don't know but it's some type of 
the shelter that I'm gonna be taking a whole bunch of stuff because a lot of stuff has already been thrown away. And no, I don't even mean just cleaning. I mean decluttering, like straight up. Like I need to get rid of so much crap. And I've just been like going through like my room, the whole freaking house trying to declutter crap that just serves no purpose. Like that's just taking up space, cluttering my thinking space. If you feel like you're going through like a mental episode that's one thing you do period just easy but just like how straightforward cleaning is i don't know i just feel like certain things are like kind of hard to do if you want to like get into journaling some people i don't know how but like some people find it like really hard to like write down their thoughts on paper some people like prayer prayer is another thing that it obviously is you i need me some jesus in my life amen. amen prayer some people also find that hard to do exercising like there's just so many different things that like help with your mental state but people find really hard to do to be honest for me at least i feel like cleaning is just like one of the most straightforward things you can do pick something up wherever it is on the ground on the couch on the counter on your bed on wherever it's at pick it up and put it where it belongs it doesn't get no more straightforward than that get a rag polish up your car polish up whatever you gotta polish up like it's just really straightforward so that's a really good thing because you could just like literally pick crap up put it where it belongs and then you gonna tell me that my mind gonna transform just by doing that bet i'm gonna take that opportunity and if you don't take that opportunity there's something wrong up here you okay sis i'm telling you cleaning is key it's just one of like the biggest biggest things that you can do to like get your mind back right get back right <laughs> see i had to get back right okay i don't got time i got people counting on me i got things to do i cannot just be sitting here in this mental whatever it is called i don't know it's called mental funk i can't be doing that not me and not you neither no we ain't having it but anyways let me stop doing too much and freaking get this journal entry down I just finished my prompt and I always fill up the whole page but look how small the pages are I wanted a cute journal but like I should have just gotten a big one because look how big these pages are that's like almost nothing so far I've written this much and you can see like I have that much I was trying to like make it a habit for me to journal every single day but just like anything else and everything else i slacked on that and i did not do it every day i was really trying to break this bad habit especially in 2022 it needs to stop i just feel like I just feel like every time I like say I'm gonna do something or try to do something I never stick to it no matter what it is whenever I say oh I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do this sometimes I do better than other times like sometimes I'll like last for a long time not my battery about to die I need to go switch my freaking battery y'all can come with me I brought it down here because I, I had a feeling it was about to die Clorox wipes Clorox gang or no gang <laughs> this is an ad I just love using my Clorox wipes I use them for everything I use them to clean the counters I use them to clean the bathroom I use them to clean my booty what, what is wrong let me not say that I I won't say that and definitely don't do that don't do that either not clorox honey anyways like i was saying i feel like people always go through that it's just a normal life thing so you don't have to feel like your life is over i very much did y'all when i turned 20 i don't know what about turning 20 triggered me so badly because i'm so mad that i'm not a teenager anymore i can't really say oh i'm a teenager and i'm still young i mean i am still young that's what i was telling myself and that's what everybody was telling me too they're like girl you are still very much young you have a whole life ahead of you why are you all freaked out but i'm just like time is just moving but the thing about getting old even though 20 is not old still I need to stop telling myself that that's old because it's really not 20 years like what is that my mom is like double that my dad is like triple that no I'm just kidding he's not triple that hold on let me change this battery really quick and then I'll get back to y'all that's more like it and then let me charge this one see I was prepared y'all see that period y'all ready queen things I literally knew like I knew so then I brought it down here because I don't feel like going all the way upstairs I feel like everybody goes through that at one point in their life or another to be honest I used to have a mental breakdown like back then when I was like super 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 like depressed and unhappy like when I was probably like six I would say I was like 14, 15 ish. I don't really remember, but I think it was around like 14, 15. I used to have breakdowns, like freaking mental breakdowns, like every day, not even gonna lie, multiple times a day. I would take a break, I'd be like raising my hand, be like, uh, teacher, I gotta go to the bathroom. And they would be like, oh, yes, go ahead, go to the bathroom. And then I'll go to the bathroom, sit there on the toilet, and cry with no shame. <laughs> and the person in the stall would be like, girl, you need some tissue. I'm like, nah, I'm good, I'm good, thank you though. I appreciate you, boo. It's just a natural life thing. Like, you don't have to get like all down about it. I know not everybody could be like as optimistic or 
as like resilient, bounce back as me. But believe me, I used to be like not like that at all. I used to be such a freaking crybaby. I mean, I'm still a crybaby. Don't get it wrong. I'm still very, very much a crybaby. I cry like y'all know I cry about everything. I cry when I watch TV, in books, movies, music videos, anything. I be crying. I do be crying. I'm just kind of like an emotional person. When it comes to things like in life that you can't really control, it's just really easy to believe. I know not everybody is spiritual or religious, but shoot, I am. I mean, you could call me dumb and I am. I'm just going to say it. I am. I am dumb. Not for believing that, but just in general, in my own special way, I am dumb. But I'm not dumb for believing that. Like you can believe whatever you want, but I'm going to believe what I believe. And I just feel like things happen for a reason. When things happen that are out of your reach, it was meant to happen. Don't be like, oh, life just hates me and life sucks. Don't get it wrong. Life does suck. Okay, me trying to put this on a tripod and I'm just failing. I'm failing so badly. Here it is. I'm not gonna like have a story time, you know, read aloud, none of that. That's the thing about journaling is that it's really personal and you can say whatever you want about whoever you want. That's the thing about it is like, I don't really like journal about people. Obviously that's not really where my problem lies. But if you do have a problem with somebody, you can say whatever you want without risking anybody opening their big mouth, telling somebody, cause some people just love to run their mouth. As much as I hate to say it, some people love to run their freaking mouths even if they know it's like a secret that you wouldn't want to get out or something that you don't want a lot of people knowing, they will still run their mouth. They'll do it. Don't get it wrong. They will still very much run their mouth with no shame too. And be like, oh, I accidentally, I didn't mean to. No, I don't want to hear none of that. Cause I told you not to tell nobody. And here I know Keisha, Charlie, Rebecca, Italy, see all these girls with exotic foreign names. Like they all know my business now because you just couldn't keep your mouth shut. With a journal, it's like, it feels so liberating because you can say anything and everything you want and you're not really risking. Unless it's like a cartoon TV type of situation to where somebody finds it and they're all like reading it to themselves. Make sure you keep it in a safe spot. If you are somewhere where you like know that somebody's gonna be like trying to be in your business, make sure you keep it in a safe spot. If you like live in a college dorm and your roommate just be mad and nosy for no reason, girl, make sure you keep it in a safe spot because ain't nobody got time for that. And I just feel like there's so many ways to like cope with mental, I don't wanna say instability, mental instability. That's not what we are. We're not mentally unstable. No, we're, we're not mentally unstable. No, that's not what we are. We're just humans getting through life. That's just how it is sometimes. Sometimes it be like that. Sometimes it really do just be like that. And I, and sometimes I just feel like I'm like really, really happy. Like every time I come on here, I'm just like really happy, optimistic. I'm pretty. I said, I am pretty. I was about to say something after that. I didn't mean to say like, I am pretty, but I mean, yeah, we're pretty too. Pretty and unbothered, just like the mug says. I feel like I'm so smart. I feel like I am your therapist right now. Am I helping you? Am I helping you out? Okay, so cleaning, I already told you to do that. Journaling, really amazing. There's just so much stuff that you could do to like cleanse your aura. I don't know. What does that even mean? Cleanse your aura. I don't know if that means anything. But y'all, I don't want to just sit here and talk, talk, talk. Even though I do want to like kind of just talk about mental, like this whole thing. Because I just feel like when it hits, it hits hard. Because I know everybody goes through stuff like that in life. Even if it's minor. Some people get it worse than others. But like life just really slap you in the face sometimes. Life really just want to square up life really just really push you and say square up what it is what it do i'm about that life you about that life that's what life does to you and sometimes it just be out of nowhere too so i just want to talk about it chat about it because we all have our moments i don't really know what i'm about to do after this because it's raining it really is raining it really did decide to rain you know what maybe tomorrow i'll do it mm -hmm. they talking about some it's gonna be sunny tomorrow like what of course it is it started raining today because of course it would after 24 straight days of sunshine and rainbows and birds chirping and all that it decides to rain today today child whatever so it's not supposed to rain tomorrow maybe i'll do all the stuff that i want to do today tomorrow y'all hear those birds if y'all don't go on somewhere, doing stuff that makes you happy is just really something that you should do. I've been reading. Oh, did I already say what I was doing? Did I say that earlier? I've just been reading. I have been doing me. You know what I'm saying? Like first I was just kind of like being sad and just like hyperventilating and all that. Crying to all my friends. I'm not really the type of person to be like calling everybody like, oh, my life sucks. My life sucks. But I was, I was doing it. But I spent a lot of this time trying to get back right, trying to get better, trying to be me. Put some respect on my name. See, at least I'm not the type of person who would just like complain and not do anything about it. If you're gonna complain, get your complaints out, but then try to do something about it. Don't just do nothing. Like, what is the freaking point of that? The next morning. Did y'all wanna tell me if this is given what needs to be given? I should like upcycle this, you know what I'm talking about? I should like fix this up so it could be a one sleeve instead of a two sleeve because girl, one sleeve is giving. And I've had this since I was like, how old? I think I was like 14 when I got this. Girl, why do I still have it? I don't know. But all I know is that I do wanna like fix it up. I just wish I knew how to sew, that's the problem. Once I learn how to do that, then it's over. It's over for y'all, look at this. I feel like this will low-key be really cute as a one sleeve. 
sleeve but nah we got a two sleeve it for now nah. good morning beautiful people it is the next day just like i promised can you not it's the next day just like i promised and i'm just getting ready because i'm about to go out and do what i couldn't do yesterday because the rain was stopping me from being great i really do be feeling like whoever's controlling the weather i feel like they really do be preying on my downfall because how is the one day when i'm about to go outside how is that the day that it decides to rain rain on me You rain on me. I'm coming through with a bare face. Do you see this? I'm acting like I don't always have a bare face. I was gonna consider start wearing like more makeup. I just don't got the time. I don't got the time or the energy. But anyways, yeah, we're just about to go like walk downtown. I wanted to go to Barnes and Noble and the bubble place, but those both don't open until 10. And it's only 9:20, so I'm just gonna like go walk sparkle. Maybe go to Barnes and Nobles. Y'all, I've just been spending so much money on books. Look, hold on. I actually wanted to show you guys this book that I got. Hold on. Because Smart Girl Ting, this book is really old. I'm just now reading it. I should have read it like a long, long, long time ago, but it is so good. Last night, all I did was just read for so long. Why is this bookmark perfect for me? BRB, ignoring my responsibilities. That'd be me. I know I should be doing something, but I will literally pick up a book instead and just be like, oh. And then it seems like better than watching TV because if I say like, oh, I was watching TV, they're going to be like, are you for real? You was watching TV? But if I say, oh, I was reading a book, they're going to be like, oh you're smart oh she's smart oh she was reading a book oh it was important blah 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 so it's just like priorities you know priorities i don't need any more books y'all i've been buying so many freaking books and i just got a book of the month subscription which i do not need even though i really really wanted it but i don't need it i keep buying books be proud of me because i feel like i've only been reading non-fiction and business and like psychology and just like those types of books but when i was younger i loved reading fiction books like i freaking kid you not kindergarten first grade like all throughout elementary school i just had like a thick a thick stack of books like this thick and i remember like whenever i had time i would just go down and read all the books i am not lying like why would i lie about that read them from start to finish put it down be like thank you next and pick up the next book and then start it read it finish boom next one you know it was just a process that was literally what i would do i read a lot in like middle not really in middle school i read a lot in high school i read like a lot of fiction i used to go to the library a lot and then i stopped reading again and then i read a lot like in the pandemic i was reading like a lot of business wealth building stuff like that because y'all know i'm about my money y'all know i love money i am so money hungry i love money don't be afraid to admit that because i love money i'm not afraid neither i love money and money loves me that's an affirmation period i don't care what somebody got to say they're like oh you're materialistic oh you're this that and the third girl i don't care you can say what you want you want to sit over there broke that's fine by me not me though not me honey i'm gonna get this paper regardless so i was doing a lot of that type of reading but i stopped reading fiction but just like recently i started reading like a lot of fiction again and i've been having a really good time in this year alone like starting from january to now it is like March 3rd. I don't know. It's like the beginning of March still. I think I've read 15 books. I think. 15, which is pretty good. I mean, it's not anything crazy, but it's like, that's pretty good. More than a book a week. Back in high school, I used to read like low-key, not even lying. I was going to read a book that was like 400 pages. It would low-key take me like three to four weeks low key low key but nah see now we're getting smarter we're improving we're doing all that y'all tell me why i got so many books Ooh, and i also have like oh my gosh the ghetto i swear okay so for one i've also been procrastinating this i have so many clothes because i was supposed to do a shane haul a long time ago and i'm like at this point should i even do it i should just wear these clothes i'm not even gonna cap i've already worn like one of these one or two of these outfits before because they've just been sitting here but i put them back in the bag so i don't forget about it i don't know if i should even do the haul anymore i should just like get new stuff from like somewhere else oh and i just put my chair in here y'all see that in the back i don't want it to look ghetto because it is ghetto i just use that to like get to the top of my my what's it called my closet my closet shelf and yeah short girl problems i cannot reach it so i need a chair and that's why that that explains yeah okay i have so many freaking books and okay you see this this is not all of them obviously i still have more but for real y'all i've just been like collecting so many books and this is like my most recent hold on do you see her do you see how thick do you see how thick she is thicker than a snicker one of the longest freaking books i have ever purchased in my life and i never ever would have thought i would read something this freaking thick but i don't know sometimes i just feel like because this is like a romance book right it's called like the wall of winnipeg in me and i think it was like a tiktok book i don't mess with tiktok books i feel like i blame tiktok for everything because stuff it gets like crazy on tiktok and then once i do it or use it or whatever for myself it doesn't live up to the hype and i'm just like 
for what so i just got this book i think it went crazy on tiktok i wouldn't really know i just based off like what people say on like pinterest and stuff like that because i don't have a tiktok y'all know this and if you don't hello my name is persia and i don't have a tiktok i don't know people were just saying oh it's really good but it's like really slow and i'm like do it look like i got the time or the patience do it but then when i think about it the one thing i really hate about romance books is how fast they move make it make sense like how do you go from in the first 10 pages of like oh, what's your name oh my name's alicia oh my name's devin i turn the page and then he kissed me and he grabbed me I'm like, okay what i turn the page again we get married i'm like hold on y'all just met i turned the page again they're like we're going all together and we're having kids make that make sense some move way too fast and i do like romance books like they're cute or whatever and a lot of them be funny or whatever you know like a rom-com type thing but they do move too fast so i was like why don't i just try this because 600 freaking pages i better be very satisfied like girl miss mariana zapata if you trying to market me and sell me this thick freaking book it better be worth it honey it better be worth the probably like what five six days that i am going to read this i better not have no regrets i better be blown away sis sister girl honey boo boo there's two Two series that i'm reading and one of the series i already finished the i'm just talking about books y'all just looking at me like we never said we cared but anyways this is the book i need to find the next book in this series because i freaking love it so much the main character her character development is everything and i'm like yes queen i obviously don't have the next book i think there's six books in total and then there's um novellas which i finished on my kindle i finished like the novellas so technically i read these and then i read three two novellas this whole world i'm here for it i love it i love it so much i feel like a nerd talking about some i love these books but like i don't care i don't care and what you gonna do about it you can fight me about it i don't care if you want to read anything i recommend that i could just show you like my whole freaking bookshelf even though it's not a bookshelf it's actually pretty ghetto it's just like the side of my dresser i've been planning on getting another bookshelf i only have that one bookshelf with like all my self-care crap on it and i've been wanting to get rid of that for a minute i'm taking a whole bunch of this stuff to the women's shelter i'm not gonna lie some of it be empty and i don't want to get rid of it because i don't like getting rid of stuff until i get my replacement i don't know why i put this book on my head but i did it this book right here i have not read it yet like i said i do not like tiktok books i don't like anything from tiktok tiktok be blowing stuff out of proportion miss colleen hoover she having her little five minutes of fame or whatever everybody who reads know who that is they're like oh she's the queen tell me why i read this book and I was not impressed. Don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to come for her or nothing. Why is this not staying up? Stay up. I'm not going to say any spoilers or anything. But it was just kind of irritating me. It was not anything that I was like super into. This is a romance book. Just in case you didn't know. She's like a romance author if you don't know that. But I usually like romance. I didn't really like this and you can drive me if you want to because everybody who reads like i always see them talk about oh my gosh this book is so good it's so good oh my god you have to read this book you haven't lived your life until you read this book i feel like i could have lived my life with not reading this and i would have been a-okay with it so now it's here just sitting and i'm just really disappointed see this is what i'm talking about tiktok is just it's just really too much because it was hyping up this book saying all this that the third i didn't even like it that much but i did get this it ends with us this book is like way more popular than ugly love i still haven't read it if i read this book and it's not as good as everybody keeps on trying to act like it is i have three things that i'm going to do one i'm gonna sue tiktok two i'm setting this book on fire three i'm throwing hands with all the people on tiktok who hyped up this book i feel like it's the best thing ever best thing that she could have given this earth i'm not here for the mediocrity and i know it's just opinion i liked the ugly love i mean i didn't really like it but i see like why people would like it there was only like two things that really like had me finish it obviously i don't want to say spoilers but there was just like really two like little things that like really kind of interested me i wasn't like oh i need to know this i need to know this like i didn't really care that much but i just kind of wanted to know i might as well figure it out you know what i'm saying people who don't even read have read this book if you read freaking colleen hoover don't flatter yourself being like oh i read books that's not reading books i'm so mean i don't know why but i don't know how you could hate from my side of the club you can't even get in you are not in the reading club club if you read colleen hoover colleen hoover is the only author you've read from in the past year don't talk to me what's up y'all okay i think the last time i was talking to you i was talking about my books but my freaking sd yeah, card filled up rude it's finally it's not like super warm or anything but it's fine if it's not super warm y'all see it? i'm prepared i'm strapped i got that jacket this jacket is like super freaking bougie wearing something like this it looks like you should be walking around in museums and stuff like that like uh-uh don't play with her but what is you doing he better have a fantabulous excuse for why he's driving the way he is when people are dumb like that like what was the point let me stop talking mess because watch karma turn around and get me it's actually really starting to get sunny outside. I don't even feel like I need this jacket. I just wish I wouldn't have worn a crop top. If I just were like, <coughs> if I just like, oh my God. Y'all ever just like randomly start feeling like you're about to die? 
because that's me right now. Like I was saying, it's looking real sunny outside, but the thing is, is that I'm wearing a crop top under this and I wish I would've just worn like a full top because that would've been like the perfect attire for this weather. But of course I need to be a little hoochie. Of course, I need to wear a crop top when it's 55 degrees outside. I mean, that's not that bad, to be honest. I feel like it's gonna be too hot for this, and Sparkle might just take her jacket off. I got her this jacket for Christmas. Y'all see it? It's too small for her. Like, I don't even wanna button it. I can button it, but I don't want to because I feel like it might make her uncomfortable. She can walk and everything, like, just fine. But I don't know if y'all noticed, Sparkle, she a little thick. She a little thickums or whatever. I still get her, like, small because she's a small dog. I don't wanna get her medium. I feel like medium would be too big. She's a chihuahua, so why would I get her a medium? But small is sometimes, like, too small small for her. She just needs to lose a couple pounds. She needs to drop that weight. Sparkle about to go on a weight loss journey, y'all. Follow her on her journey. Support her. She needs all the support she can get. It is actually a very, very beautiful day in the neighborhood. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. It's like the perfect day to walk. Do you see this? Yo, so me and Sparkle are walking. I know you can't really see me, but it's because I'm like in the shade. So you just gonna have to work with me on that. You know, you're gonna have to squint a little bit or just listen, go off your hearing and not your sight. We walk by faith, not by sight, but we're just walking and it just feels so good. Like this is exactly the feeling that I'm talking about. It just feels like so good to walk and to like live your life. I just feel like so bougie. Like, look at me, look at me. I don't know if you can see me. Can you see me? Y'all see me in this mirror? I feel so bougie. Like, look at me. I got the Uggs on. I'm wearing like two different cream colors. I know they don't really like match or whatever. Wait, hold on. We're supposed to be going to Barnes and Nobles. I went to the bank. Come on. Wait, what's that Cardi Beeline? I forgot what it was, but it was like something about going to the bank. Oh, uh, I'd be in it not to bank so much. I know they tired of me. <laughs> Bro, I need to stop. I need to stop being ratchet up in these streets. Classy, bougie, ratchet. That's the motto. I'm talking about Cardi B and like, now I'm quoting Megan the Stallion lines. I need to stop. Look at this. Everything is so beautiful. I want to go into Barnes and Noble. Girl, no, wait, hold on. Hold on, baby. I don't want her to get hit by no car. No, 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 no. Is this thing broke? It better not be broke. I know you lying. Look at this. It's not making the sound. It's not making the sound. Bro, come on. Oh, it was working. Never mind. Oh, hold on. Hold on. If y'all didn't know, I have like a serious phobia of like cars. Not very bad. It got so much better, but like I had like the worst freaking phobia of cars. Like I'm always afraid somebody's gonna like hit me or hit my dog or like when I'm driving, I'm afraid somebody's gonna hit me. Like it's already happened before. Somebody already hit my car before. I'm just like so afraid of cars and sparkle. Whenever she like goes into the street, I'm like, get your behind back over here, girl. We're not about to be playing none of that. I don't know where the boba place is at. Yeah, sparky. <laughs> <laughs> Sparkle's always so popular wherever we go. She always taking the shine off of me. Girl, I don't know who you think you are or what you thought this was, but this is about me. I should take out my tripod because I'm literally just holding my camera by the camera. And I know better than that. Watch me drop it. I'm calling it. Watch me drop it in the next five minutes because that just seems like something I do. I remember all the times I almost dropped my camera, but I never dropped it. I did drop it technically, but like I didn't actually drop it because I caught it. So if that counts, it fell out of my hands, but I never like actually let it hit the floor. I would chew my own freaking legs off before I let my camera hit the floor. Hold on. Barnes and Noble is over there. I'm just trying to figure out how to cross the street. I'm so scared. I mean, I could use the crosswalk. That's an idea. See, I don't be trusting nobody. Come on. Are they open? Yes, sir, they are. I'm just looking for one book. Watch me get like a whole bunch of books because I'm a book addict. Can, no, come on. I want to know where the boba place is at though. I don't know where it's at. I guess I could just look it up. Can you come on? The disrespect. She really thinks she running something like girl. Who? What What did you think this was? Get you with your hoodie. Better not be pooping. I don't think I have any poop bags. I just switched my purse. Yesterday I had my other purse and I finally switched to this purse because no, why are you? You girl, you better not poop. Okay, she didn't poop. Okay. I don't have any poop bags in this purse because I forgot about it. Yes, thirsty. I know you lying. I don't see the one that I need. It's called Restore Me, and I don't see it. I'm really about to throw hands with somebody. Come on now. To find me, this is the one after the one that I need. Can you not? Can you not complain? We're only gonna be in here for a few minutes. <sighs> Come on now. This is so disappointing. Since we can't get that, we might as well get something else, right? <laughs> I got this one on my Amazon, but they really don't got the hardcover up in here. You know what? For some reason, Barnes & Noble is just really acting ghetto right now. Really acting ratchet. 
this is always such a hard decision. Whenever I try to buy a book, it's always so hard because I just want to grab a whole bunch, but we don't got grab a whole bunch type money. Yes, Sursky, this is the one that I'm reading right now. I actually got this one and this one in like bundle duo or whatever it's called. Can you not interrupt? You already had your shining moment. Ooh, your five minutes is over. They really don't have the one that I was looking for. Like, I just wanted that one. I really want to finish that series, but it's not here. Lo and behold, what? I'm just disappointed. Go. You lead and I'll follow. my other favorite section which is business 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 and business i love reading about business and like money and successful habits and all that because come on now black wealth and black excellence amen Ooh, I wanted to read this book, Lolita. This is a classic. I've been trying to read a classic for so long. I don't think I've even read any yet. Should I just get it? Like Lokito, should I just get it? Ciao. Shoot, I'm really trying to debate right now. You know what, I'm finna get it. I might as well get this one too because I think this is the next one in like the series that I'm reading. Cause I got, I think it's called like The Chase. I have that one. And it's not the one that I'm reading right now. It's not the um off campus. It's the Briar You, and I don't know if I should get it. Yeah, 916. Now it's time to get boba. I got two books and y'all. Every time I come in here, I feel like this girl has an attitude with me. I don't know. I don't have an attitude with her back. I just feel like I shouldn't be like super, super nice. Like go out of my way to be super, super nice if she's not even gonna try. Every time I see her, she just seems like she has an attitude. Every time. It doesn't fail. The first time, I think it was on my birthday and I was like, okay, maybe she's just having a bad day. It's my birthday. Let me try to cheer her up. Tell me why every single day since I've came back, she always got an attitude. Always. And I'm like, girl, it I was thinking you just had a bad day. I was like, okay, I get it. Everybody has bad days. This girl, every time I go in there, she got an attitude with me. And I don't know if it's just me or if she just like hates her job or if she's just one of those people that seems like she's bitter, but she's like really nice once you get to know her because low key people be saying that about me too. I'm gonna look up the directions for the boba place now. It's 10 30. It's still early. I'm about to drop like everything. Look at, look her. at this dude. <laughs> no, no, no. Maybe I'll move the car a little bit closer depending on where it is. But I'll see y'all once I get to the car or once I get to the boba place or you know, whatever it is that I do. Why are you peeing right there? Out of all the places to pee, you pee right there. $20 This hard to get boba? I would have just gotten coffee. What in the world? I don't know where I'm going. It's raining flowers. Oh, that's so pretty. You guys see this tree right here? It's raining flowers. This is some bowl. Can you stop getting in my lab, please? When I'm trying to focus? I'm trying to bring my A-game here. Thousands of tears later. I found the boba place, but guess what? They're not open till 1130. Uh, That's a whole hour. I'm not waiting out here for an hour. At least I found it. <sighs> I can't believe I did all this and I'm not even gonna get boba. Are you freaking kidding me? It was like nice. Sparkle just had like a little moment, like people walking with their dogs. I feel like I'm in my element right now. I feel like I'm thriving. I just love downtown. And I just feel like everybody's so friendly. This most definitely is not New York. Just kidding. I've never been to New York, but I imagine that this is how it feels. No, because people be saying that people in New York are like really mean and ain't nobody got time for that mm -mm. but I don't know I just feel like when I walk around here people are so nice I have had like five people like stop and just like smile at me and sparkle here like meeting other dogs people walking their dogs I love it I love it here
up y'all so i'm back at home my freaking camera battery died which is so stupid first it was my sd card that got full and now my camera battery dead and to make matters worse i was out and about so i couldn't just change it up for some reason i didn't bring my camera battery with me but y'all didn't really miss anything i was about to go to the car anyway and just leave but still though like it's the principle of the matter why stuff keep on happening i really don't know okay i'm acting like that wasn't my fault it was my fault about the sd card i knew it was about to get full but i didn't care camera battery really didn't think i needed to bring the backup but whatever it is we here now that's a family joke let me show you guys the books that i got even though i already showed you which ones i was gonna get i ended up getting lolita you guys could see this is like a classic book and i don't think i've ever read a real classic besides like frankenstein and i only read that because like i had to it was a required read in high school i had to read it but it was actually good i kind of want to read it again because you know how like when you're forced to do something you don't enjoy it as much say you washing the dishes right and then your mom come in and she's like you wash the dishes and now you don't want to do it anymore because she told you to wash the dishes. And it's like, girl, I know you see me washing these dishes. I know you see me having a good time doing it too, but you wanted to ruin it. So that's pretty much what happened when I was reading Frankenstein. I like reading and I really like enjoyed the story. But like because it was like a required read and I had to do it, Ain't nobody about to tell me what to do. Nobody. And I ordered The Great Gatsby, which is another classic, period. I ordered it off of Amazon, but they was mad at playing with me. I ordered it with the Wall in Winnipeg of me, whatever it's called. I ordered it with that book, but it didn't show up because they was playing games. A long time ago, one of my friends, he told me, oh, did you read The Great Gatsby? And I'm like, no. And he's like, Ugh. Are you serious? You act like you get to read. You didn't even read that book. I'm like, okay, calm down before I throw hands with you, first of all. Second, I just never got like the opportunity. It wasn't a required read. When I was in high school, I wasn't thinking about reading classics, but classics are classics for a reason. It's because they are good. It's as simple as that. If they are classics, then that means they're bomb. They're good enough to be remembered all throughout these years. I don't know how old this one is though. How old is it? I keep on saying classic. Watch it be like freaking written in 2019. 1955, that's classic. And then I also got this book because I was about to not get it, but I was like, might as well just get it this is the risk it was in my amazon cart and i was like girl it's literally right here and it was also 20 percent off and not only that but like my membership thing like took it down even more so i was like i might as well just get it here right now in the flesh because i could not get the freaking what's it called i could not get the uh, restore me i couldn't get that book and i was so disappointed like i'm really disappointed in them but i love this well not this series i like this author l kennedy there's one book that went crazy on tiktok and it's the first book from the off campus series let me show it to you because i got it i got it sis i got it let me show you boom this is the book right here that like went crazy on tiktok and y'all know how i am if something goes crazy on tiktok i'm not gonna trust it i'm like okay whatever i don't care i read it and it was so good like i really enjoyed it personally it is for the hot girls let me say that so if you're not into like you know certain mm. situations i'm gonna just say that then i wouldn't read it but it was really funny it was really easy to read and i just like couldn't put it down i think i read this in two days two days but i like had to force myself to stop because there was no part where i felt like oh this is a good place to stop like that does not exist in her books that does not exist a good place to stop does not exist in her books period so it was just kind of hard to like put it down which i mean that's a good thing for a book but kind of like a bad thing when you when you don't want to get to it through wait what when you don't want to get through it too fast not me not able to talk i cannot talk i swear i finished getting this whole series which is the off campus i have all of them but then she has like another because you know she got a bag from this series she was like okay cha ching laughing her way to the bank so then she started this series which i have the first book in this series but i didn't read it it's called the wrist yeah, it's called The Risk. It is most definitely not. That is off campus. And then this one says, where does it say it? Bri oh, I just dropped stuff. This one says Briar U. They're not the same, but it's like still in their friend group. But whatever, you know, El Kennedy, you do you, sis. You know, you get your bag. I don't know what I'm about to do for the rest of the day. I really want to get boba, but I obviously couldn't. Y'all could see that. But I do have my insure because, you know, thick, 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 thick. It's something that I'm not. What time is it? Where's my phone at? Did I lose my phone? It's 11.28. I don't really have like anything to do. I might just read. Oh, I gotta edit. I don't like this one. I really don't. Here I am, drink me it again.
Good morning, y'all. You can see that I'm outside right now. It is the next day. I just woke up. Well, I didn't just wake up. It's actually been a minute since I woke up. I was trying to like find the perfect angle because the sun, the sun ain't doing nothing good for me. But pretty much, I'm just outside my house. I'm trying to sit at this freaking table, but the sun is just like hitting me in all the wrong spots. Like it hurts. No lie, it hurts. I was about to do a whole bunch of stuff. I think I still would probably get boba. At this point, I just feel like I'm doing too much for the boba. Like I'm starting to seem a little bit desperate. I'm about to give up. I don't even care anymore. I feel like I haven't really been doing that much. I was about to go watch the Batman movie last night because it just came out like last night, I think. And I ended up not going. Which is not surprising at all. I don't want the sun all up in my face. Dang. I got my coffee cake. I put it ghetto. Like, it's on a freaking napkin. And I also got my tea. Which is probably about to be, like, really disgusting. Because I don't think there's any honey. I looked for honey, like, so much. I was trying to find honey. But I couldn't find any. More for the health benefits. It's really sunny. Really beautiful outside. So, I don't have to be around these people. In these type of environments and situations. In order for me to finally see the value in myself i love me independent of you loving me i believe in me Anyways, you guys, you can see that I'm back in my room. I just wanted to come back in my room. I did my um tea. I was drinking it. I ate my coffee cake, all that. I didn't really stay out there for too long because, I don't know, the sun was just really bugging me. I could not sit in that sun for any longer. I was like, forget this. I'm going back inside the house. I started straightening up a little bit. I'm going to clean. But I'm thinking that I'm just going to end this video right here because I was going to vlog throughout this day too. But I have so much to do. And I already know whenever I'm on my vlog and I'm really busy that day, I always, always, always take like 10 times longer than I'm supposed to. I'm just going to um, go to the laundromat. I'm pretty sure I mentioned that before that I said I was going to go to the laundromat because, oh, I meant to go check and see if they're open, which I am 99.9% .9 sure that they did not reopen the freaking laundromat here. I'm just going to have to go to like another one and like freaking pay real money for it. Yeah, the ghetto, the ghetto. That's That really is ghetto. Like, make it make sense. What do they expect us to do? Hand wash crap like it's the 1800s? Nah, 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 nah. The time is 10, 12, which is still over an hour before I can even go get boba or anything, which ain't nobody got time for that. So I think I'm just going to not do that right now. And I have to take my hair out. And I know y'all are so proud that I'm taking my hair out. Look at it. And I already know, like, if I'm going to be on this camera that I am not going to be able to take my hair out. And I do not want to wait till too late because I always do that. And then it's like, when I wait too late, I end up just not doing it. And then I end up like wearing this hairstyle for like another freaking three weeks and i'm not trying to have any of that so i'm just gonna go ahead head up out of here thank you guys so much for watching if you watched like this whole video i feel like it was probably pretty long because i think it was three days that i recorded for three days three days straight but they were all like only morning ish time i need to finish my book i need to take my hair down dang it see i should make a list i think i did make a list i put it in my planner y'all see oh hold on bam see i've been using my planner i told you i told you i'm gonna start using it i just made a list this morning let me stop stalling and go ahead and head up out of here thank you guys so much for watching I'm gonna catch y'all later though, okay? Bye! Bye guys! Did y'all really think it was over because it's not over till I say it's over boo boo, let's go! You guys, I finally ended up getting the freaking boba. It was so good. I got like the mango passion fruit, whatever flavor. And it was pretty bomb. Not gonna lie, I was feeling like a winner when I finally found it. I was just in the car vibing. Get you in a sex without a visa. You know I need you. The rest of my day was pretty boring. Not gonna lie. I was just sitting on my stairs reading my book because I told myself I wanted to finish it that day. So her I am reading. Okay, period. Smart girl ting. I also thought it was so funny that I finished this book on the date that it was published i was like dang that's crazy what a crazy little coincidence after that i just logged it in my book log nothing special y'all i am telling you reading has gotten me through this mental little rut because i enjoy it so much so you do the same if there's something you really enjoy just do it a lot and i promise it'll help you honey i promise my plan for the rest of the night was to watch the movie and take my hair out but spoiler that did not really happen So if you're an only child and you've ever wondered what it's like to have a sibling, let me just show you this really quick. In other words, if you're an only child, be grateful. Keep the moves on tuck. I know it's all love. Everything good. Keep the vibes on crush. I know it's all good. Know it's all Am 
I a weirdo for zooming in on her pee? This crap is ridiculous. This is starting to get ridiculous. This is starting to get ridiculous. This is starting to get ridiculous. You picked that knife up.